Hello, so today we are going to learn how to use Google Classroom. Now, Google Classroom is where your teachers are going to be putting your assignments, your notes, and it's probably where you are going to be submitting all of your assignments as well. So we really got to get good at using Google Classroom. So today we're going to learn how to do that. Many of you have used Google Classroom before. If you don't know already, it's this icon right here. It's like a green chalkboard. And if you don't have it, you can download it in self-service. So I'm going to open Google Classroom. And if you haven't signed in yet, it should say get started. So I'm going to hit get started. Now, once you start, it's going to ask you to sign in. So when you sign in, you're going to be using your district email, which is going to be your ID number at chsd218.org. I'm going to use mine. And then you're going to hit next. And then you can put in your password. I'm going to put in mine. Now, I also want to say that if you've already logged into your Google account, there's a possibility that you'll just be able to choose your account and not even have to type anything in. So if that's the case, just click on your account and log in. And when you first open Google Classroom, it's going to say, Classroom would like to send you notifications. And you're going to hit Allow. And there we go, a nice blank page. And if you'll notice at the bottom, it says, Join your first class. So we are going to hit the plus icon. And it says, Class Code. So your teacher at some point should give you a class code to enter their classroom. So now I'm going to type in the code that my teacher gave me to get into this sample classroom. And then in the top right, you're going to hit join. And at this point, you should be part of the class as long as it all went correctly. At the bottom of this page, you'll see three options. You'll see stream, classwork, and people. Once again, I'm highlighting them. That's stream, classwork, and people. People. Now the stream is what you're looking at now and it's basically just a stream of everything new that's been posted in, in order. It's kind of random. Anytime something new is announced to class it will pop up here but it's not necessarily organized that well. So I advise you to use the tab at the bottom called classwork which I'm highlighting right now. So you'll see classwork and you'll see that there are two assignments listed. It says sample assignment and reading question. I'm going to click on the one called reading question first. And you'll see it says reading question worth 100 points. And at the very top, it even says that it's due Friday at 3 p.m. So we have all this information that the teacher has provided you. And then he says, what did you think of tonight's reading? Comment below to receive full credit. So at the very bottom, it allows you to add a comment. If you have a question for the teacher, or if the teacher wants you to write a comment, you can click the Add Comment button, which is at the very, very bottom. So I'm going to click it. And I'm going to add a private comment. And I'm going to say, I thought the reading was great. And then you'll see a blue arrow on the right, and I'm going to click that blue arrow. And just like that, I've submitted my comment. And at the very top, you'll see this gray arrow pointing down. And if you click that gray arrow, you can be done with it. Now, if we want to go back to our main screen, we're going to hit the back arrow, which is in the top left. You see me highlighting it. It's the back arrow in the top left. We are going to click it. And now we're back to our assignments. So I'm going to go to another assignment, the one that says sample assignment, and I'm going to click it. And it says sample assignment, 100 points due August 16th at 12 p.m. Please submit your assignment when completed. Use Notability. So the teacher has given me some information that I now need to use. So again, at the very bottom it says your work, and I'm going to click that gray up arrow and when you do that, it shows you all of your work. And it also shows you that the teacher has given me a document. It says, Test Student Chemistry Electron Notes. 
So I am going to click on that document right there that I've highlighted. And that's kind of like the worksheet that the teacher has given you or the assignment. And you'll see that it comes up in Google Docs because this is a Google Doc. So now we've opened our assignment. This is kind of our worksheet, right? But you'll notice that there are some icons here. So for example, in the top right, you'll see a pencil icon and I've highlighted it right now. And if you hit that pencil icon, it will take you to a new screen. And this screen allows you to edit your worksheet or your document. So I can write all over it. I can take notes and I can complete my worksheet just like this. I can also zoom in to make the worksheet bigger or smaller. And if you look, there are a lot of options at the bottom. For example, there's an eraser where I can erase. There is a pencil or pen where I could write. And if you click it again, you can even change the color of the pen. There is a marker next to that, which has a thicker line, and you could even change how thick it is and the color of your marker. There's a highlighter. And finally, maybe most importantly, there is this letter A that allows you to create a text box and then type whatever you want into the text box. So there are multiple ways to complete your assignments in Google Classroom. You can also import an assignment from an app called Notability that we'll talk about later. If you look at the top right, you'll also notice that there's like a turned arrow that's turned left. I've highlighted it right now. And if you hit that, it's an undo button and it will get rid of the last things that you did. So let's say I write some notes and I'm ready to submit my assignment. In the top right, there is a save button. So I'm going to click my save button in the top right. And it's going to save my completed worksheet as a PDF file. And it says document saved. Now, if I X out, of this assignment using the X button in the top left, you'll notice that there are two assignments here. The first one is the blank assignment that my teacher gave me. It looks like that. And the second one, the PDF, says edited because that's my assignment and you can actually see it here. Now, if at any point you're not done or you say, hey, I wrote on my worksheet, but I'm not, I'm not quite finished. I wanna change something. You can always hit that pencil icon in the top right and add more things to it. And then when you're done, you can hit save again and it saves your PDF and then you can X out. So you can do that as many times as you want. But once you are done and you have completed your assignment, you have to make sure that you hit turn in. And I've highlighted it right there. Now I wanna warn you, this is very important. If you do not hit the turn in button, your teacher will not see your assignment and your assignment will be late. Even if you've completed the assignment, like we did here, your teacher will not be able to see it unless we hit turn in. So I'm going to hit turn in. And it said two attachments will be submitted. We are gonna hit turn in. And it says that the assignment has been turned in. Now. If your teacher allows it, you might be able to unsubmit the assignment to change things, but otherwise your assignment is turned in, it won't be late, and your teacher can now see your work. Now to go back to our main screen, we're gonna hit the arrow pointing down. It's a gray arrow at the top and it's pointing down. We're gonna hit that gray arrow. And now we're back to the beginning. And if we hit our back button, now we're back to our classroom. Now, I wanna talk about a few other things. So, at the very bottom, we said that there is a stream tab, and that's where we started. It's just a list of all of the different things that were posted in your classroom in order. The classwork button is gonna show a more organized feed, and then at the very bottom right, there's a people button. And that will probably show your classmates, your teacher, basically all of the people that are involved in the classroom. Now, if you look at the top left, which I've highlighted, there is a button that looks like three lines on top of each other, and I'm going to click it. And that brings us to our menu. 
So there are a few things here. First off, there's a classes button. And that will show you all of your classes. Now, right now, I'm only in one class called the Sample Freshman class. But as the year goes on, you're probably going to have a bunch of classes there, maybe five or six or seven of them. And you'll be able to scroll through them. Now, if I hit my three-line button at the top left again and bring up my menu, there's also a calendar, which I've highlighted. Now, if you have Google Calendar downloaded, you'll be able to see all of your assignments on that calendar and when they're due. There's also a to-do list, and that shows you exactly what you need to do this week. My to-do list tells me that this week I still need to finish my reading question, which is due on Friday at 3 p.m. And as you have more classes, this is going to become very useful because you're going to have a lot of assignments. It also tells me which assignments are missing, and it will also tell me which assignments are done. Remember, we turned in one assignment already, so it shows that that assignment was done early. If we go back to our menu, you'll also see a Classroom Folders button, and you'll also see a Settings icon. I'm going to click that Settings icon, and I want you to know that you can go through here and change some different things about your account. For example, in the Notifications tab, which I've highlighted, you can change how you get notifications for your class. For example, do you want to get email notifications? If so, make sure the first button is turned on, and if not, you could always turn it off. Do you want class notifications? Do you want to see notifications when you comment on a post? There's all sorts of different features, and if you want to make sure that you are getting all of your notifications, make sure that you look here. I can get out of this menu by hitting the Done button, and that is essentially Google Classroom. So I hope you've had a good time learning about Google Classroom. I hope it's easy for you. And if you have any questions, your teachers and your tech department are here to help. So please ask us questions as the year goes on. Have a great day.